Well, there's a saying that Paris is never a bad idea, and that is just the case for six American expats who get to experience their wildest adventure yet in the new Bravo reality show, Real Girlfriends in Paris. Take a look. I love Paris because it is the most magical city I've ever been to. I want to become like completely financially independent from you. The back is really pretty. It, like, Are you supposed to be naked? Dad, it's a dress. I have to design eight new trendlet pieces by Friday night. This could make or break my career. It's so nice to have people here who are in the same boat as you. Cheers to you, a cheers to me, a cheers to David here in Paris. Ah, and stars of Real Girlfriends in Paris, Margot and Victoria, join me now. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Nice to have you back over here <laughs> in yes. New York. Uh, so, Margot, set this up for me. How, were you guys all friends before? How did this come together? Did you meet in Paris? Me and Vic have known each other for a while. We have a lot of mutual friends in New York. We were put in touch. Yeah. We've been hanging out long before filming. Um, but the social circle is so small in Paris. I knew of everyone that was um, in the cast of the show. Oh, fun. I wasn't, like, close to anyone in particular except for Vic. But, mm -hmm. like, as we started filming, it was, yeah, incredible. And so now you yeah. guys are friends for life. Yes, I of imagine, course. Because you go through something for together. <laughs> Right? But Victoria, you come from a small town in Texas, so yes. how did you end up in Paris? So actually, I studied for three and a half years at, community college, at a community college in Dallas, uh -huh. and then I applied to my dream school that was Parsons, New York. Of course. And I was planning actually on moving to, to New York. That was like my whole plan. And then I got a scholarship to Parsons, Paris, oh my and my God. first passport in the entire, in my entire life. Yeah. So I it mean, was. What an opportunity that Oh, is. it was crazy. It must be like a dream come true for anyone doing fashion. I mean, New York is yeah. amazing for fashion, but. Paris. I mean, Paris. 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 But um, so, Margot, t what do you think, like, um, how this show differs for, from some other reality shows, say, on Bravo? Because, you know, you see the Housewives. Yes. There's a lot of fighting. Yeah. You know, yeah, especially you nowadays. It's different. Um, I would say that it's a, it's a lot more docu-series-esque. It's, it's so new the way it's filmed, edited, than any other Bravo show I've seen. I love Bravo. I watch them all. Yeah. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a new concept, and it's incredible. And I think it's, it's just more authentic, more raw. We're very supportive of each other. Yeah. Um, and, of course, there's bickering and fights, but it's a lot more, like, less dramatized, and it's, like, yeah. normal fighting. Like, it's yeah. not, like, yeah. some crazy... Well, what do you think people are going to be most surprised about as far as just life in Paris, being young in Paris? What is, what is going to surprise people the most? Mm. The amount of smoking. Yes. I did yes. notice that. I was yes. like, oh, people really still we smoke really, there. And yeah. drinking. Drinking <laughs> yeah. is so casual. Like, literally, you see people on their lunch break just drinking wine, and it's like an accepted thing. Like 11 a.m. Like, in the morning. Yeah. 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 You have a glass of sunset That's more her. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. But yeah. It's not judged. Like, you can order yeah. a drink whenever you want, and no one will ever look at you like you're crazy. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's a little more free flow. It's yes. very free flow. Yes. Yes. So I think that people on, on the outset would look at this show and say, Oh, six girls in, living in Paris. It's so unrelatable. <laughs> but in reality, there are a lot of things that you all are dealing with that yeah. are relatable things. I know yeah. that you were going you were going through a divorce. Yes. You are now coming out about your sexuality. Yes. Was this something that was hard for you to share? Were you excited about sharing it? And what's kind of the response been? I mean, I think that this whole new chapter about my life has been living for myself, especially coming from such a small town and then yeah. finally living in Paris in a place that's like so, you can just be authentically yourself with yeah. like, like Margot was saying, there's not really as much judgment there. You kind of, and so, for me, I'm excited about it. Yeah. You know, I like clean slate too. Yeah, you moved there, absolutely. like I think it was a fresh start. Yeah, and like yeah. her divorce yeah. happened during COVID. Exactly. Like so, it was really like yeah. Yeah. a whole new chapter. Yeah, a new me, a new chapter. Yeah. Like yeah, self discovery. Right. Well, I, I look forward to watching the rest of the season. Have fun and watch what happens live tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Live. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, you can catch Real Girlfriends in Paris every Monday night at 9 p.m. on Bravo and streaming the next day on Peacock. Ladies, thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. Much.